protection strategy involves considering brand protection when choosing a name or sign. Don't first create and commit to a name or other sign and leave brand protection as a separate activity for later. First, find out whether your chosen brand elements are legally effective and available. Hi, I'm Shireen Smith, brand lawyer. Subscribe to understand why integrating business design with brand protection is so critical. Changing the identifiers through which consumers recognize a business once they're already publicized or decided upon is awkward. So brand creation and brand protection need to go hand in hand. Examples of the signs and symbols that identify a brand include a name such as Google, a stylized logo such as the IBM logo, a graphic logo such as the Nike swoosh, a distinctive font such as the Snickers chocolate font, a tagline phrase such as just do it, a face or character icon such as KFC's Colonel Sanders, shape icons such as McDonald's M Golden Arches, the shape of packaging such as the Coca-Cola bottle, a sound such as the Intel Inside sound, or finally a colour such as the Tiffany Blue. Now brand protection considerations help you decide what is ownable and enforceable against copyists. So you'll know when and how to protect elements so they remain unique to you. The first seven signs in the list including name and logo, may be protected even before you start using them as your identifiers. So you can get your business ready for launch, secure in the knowledge that you have rights to the brand elements you intend to use. Packaging shapes, music and sounds or colour elements, on the other hand, fall within the last three examples in the list. Those signs may only be owned through trademarks once consumers recognise you by them. You need to be strategic about your choices and brand protection strategy if your ambition is ultimately to secure trademark protection. You make better branding decisions if you understand brand protection. For example, did you know that EasyJet spends 10 times more on litigation than Ryanair does? The reason is that Ryan is a proper name while Easy is a commonplace dictionary word. More people are likely to want to use the word Easy as part of their name than the word Ryan. Brand protection considerations also impact the cost of securing registrations internationally. The approach to trademark registration differs from country to country. So while the UK allows any brand name to be registered, other registries might well refuse your application if it includes a word like easy that other existing trademarks use. That means you would first have to overcome the examiner's objections. That invariably increases costs. In some countries, you might even have to seek the consent of existing registered owners. These are issues best thought about when you're developing your brand so you're not surprised later on. Don't leave brand protection to be considered after a business is already designed and its brand created. By then it might be too late or too disruptive to make changes if an ill-advised choice was made. So if you'd like to watch the next video, I've suggested one here for you to consider. Thank you.